It's I'm innocent guys. Innocent until proven guilty. I'm innocent until proven guilty. And we have not had my trial to being proven innocent. My name is Phil Child, and I've been accused of touching every child within a 100 mile radius. But it's all a big misunderstanding. I love to drive around in my van and approach kids offering candy and puppies. And when they get back to my van, I simply let them stroke the cute <laughs> doggos and take a lollipop. Welcome to the Pluto Dolphin Show. Special shout out from the John Campbell Show. Peace. What's up, everyone? Pluto Coffins is here for the 35th episode of the Bull Session Podcast. I'm doing this one alone because um, I'm too fucking cheap to buy a new uh, new headphones that have two ear ear things on it. Because the one ear phone, does, I'm I'm high as fuck. I've been out here smoking in my truck for a minute now, and I'm I am higher than than a green snake up a sugar cane tree, you know. And, um, but yeah, I, I don't want to buy new uh, Apple earbuds. <laughs> Fuck, I'm fucked up. I do not want to buy new Apple earpods. So I, um, am doing this shit alone right now. I'll probably go over to Matt Toon later and record a episode 36 with them. Even more stoned, right? But I wanted to cover John Campbell today because fucking... You know, he's fucking TikTok famous. Like, people are making videos about him. All these people are making TikToks about him. One of his TikTok has over a million views. He gets 152,000 views a day. Uh, yeah, we're covering John Campbell this episode because, uh, we turned him famous. The Bull Session Podcast broke John Campbell, and this is every single time that he had beef with me, Pluto Coffins. I'ma ride them coattails of my best friend John Campbell. All right, What's welcome this one? to John Campbell. I don't know if all these videos are related uh, specifically to me, but I know like the vast lot of them are. But some of them might be randoms because there's so much John Campbell shit you can't keep track of it. So let's talk on the Republican side. We think. Let's talk on the Republican side, bro. Trump really won the election. Okay. Okay. And Green has a bill to impeach um, Biden, which I support. Okay. Nice. Because he needs to be impeached. Why is your shirt off? And um, January 6th wasn't a coup. You know, the Democrats tried the coup in 2016 with blaming Russia. That's not what a coup is. <laughs> you need to look up what a coup is. A coup is where someone's trying to overthrow the the government, right? And Trump kind of did try to do that by, you know, you know, he fucking tried to have all these people uprise against the government and keep them in office and shit, which... I mean, coup's kind of a stretch, to be honest, but it was definitely something. He definitely did something, right? But fucking John Campbell does not know what a coup is. <laughs> he doesn't know what a lot of things are. Look at his face. <laughs> Look at his little face. If you remember, and we have Biden and Obama's birth certificate on his file says he's from Kenya. But on the coup shit, I think Trump was just being a really big sore loser. Like the insurrection and shit. I don't I don't know if he wanted it to happen or whatever, but he didn't like use the military to like stop anything, which I think that would be like a real coup if you like use the military to stop Biden from assuming power. But no, it's just a bunch of people rioted and he was like, ha like, you know, ha it's like John Campbell. He'd be like, ha ha right. I think he was just a sore loser. So he's been erased, you know. <laughs> Obamacare is unconstitutional. Uh, I don't like Obamacare. I wish we had a better health care system, but I still think that we should have a government health care system where health care is free, universal health care, like how Canada and 
and like Sweden and, and the United Kingdom and like all these other countries have. I think we should have a version of that. He's he's just so photogenic. It's unbelievable. So if you want to talk about that bowl session, you should. Oh shit! He said bowl session. Talking about bowl session. If you want to talk about that bowl session, we're talking about it. Include that. Me on Pluto. You know Pluto. Tell the truth on it. You know. The only who that the Democrats lost in 2016, and that's what they're crying about. Hillary still hasn't conceded. She yes, she did. <laughs> what? She wasn't president. She knows she wasn't president. Blame Russia, the blame game. Yeah, they were. I didn't like that shit either. I didn't like how they were like, Russia, Russia, Russia. It's all Russia, Russia, Russia. But actually, Trump had shady dealings with Saudi Arabia. It had nothing to fucking do with Russia. So, and Sean Schrader owes me an apology. I was there in Toledo before 2012 on Facebook. You go to John William Campbell. Um, Facebook, and I'll post a li link, and you can show it, you know. Do it, you know. And it proves it. So, he owes me an apology, so... Because I was there before him, and he started all this crap. He has yet to apologize. Has yet to apologize from shit that happened years ago. So, you know, it just sucks. You know. Whenever you know you're right, and you deserve an apology. And you... Hold up. You know... It just sucks whenever you know you're right and you deserve an apology. And you know what's worse than smoking? Air quality. <laughs> Air quality? What the fuck? Uh, I agree with the first thing. It does suck whenever you know you're right and that someone should fucking say you're sorry, but they're not going to because they're like that kind of person. That shit does suck, John. I agree with you. Air quality is worse than smoking. Now he quit smoking. Nowadays, he's talking about how Jesus delivered him from fucking quitting smoking. But it's like, we've been encouraging you for months, you fucking bastard. You know? We, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I, I get stuck in the John Campbellisms. I've been talking to him so much, I think he's given me schizophrenia. Honestly. But, um... Fucking... Because I talk to him, like, every fucking day. But fucking... Back then, he kept talking about how he's never going to quit smoking, how he's smoking and shit. Like, he loves smoking. Now it's like he's been delivered from smoking. But you have COPD, so it's like you still have repercussions from it. And we tried to slow it. I'm, I'm glad he quit smoking, though. That's a, a move in the right direction, honestly. It's very, it's very, uh, I don't know. I never thought he would quit smoking, honestly. So maybe God did deliver from, uh, him from smoking, you know? I mean, <laughs> I'm so stoned right now. I'm going to smoke some more. According to them, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, so this is a John Campbell show. How are you going to say that at the end of the video? <coughs> That's like a beginning of the video thing. Like, <coughs> this is the John Campbell show and then... <laughs> you know what I mean? Not at the fucking end of the damn video. This is the John Campbell show. <coughs> they should show the evidence that January 6th, you know. The committee found nothing on Trump. And they know that their side... But I agree with him. I love seeing politicians and cops run like in riots and everything. Republicans or Democrats, you know, it's... It's fucking fun, you know, seeing the establishment act all afraid, you know. And there he is. He's talking about how I was like, I love seeing, like, I didn't care that they were Republicans. I love seeing the Republicans rise up on the insurrection. It was a really cool sight to see, like, I don't know. I just hate, I don't like seeing people in power. So, like, whenever they get, like, tossed down a peg by a bunch of people, that shit gets my fucking dick hard, you know. 
whether it's Republicans doing it or Democrats doing it. It's just fun for TV, you know. We all love a little bit of chaos and anarchy. And Britain attacks the shit out of us. You find the video on the revolutionary war history. Britain attacks the shit out of us before we left for America. And we're doing the same thing here, you know, so... That's why 1770s, January 6th was important, you know. The revolutionary clause in the Constitution. So, eat shit and die, motherfuckers, as George Carlin says, you know. I'm right. surprised he listens to George Carlin, considering George Carlin was a staunch atheist. Right, I'd like to do a huge shout out. Thank you, Pluto Coffins, for helping my channels on Shadow Ban Me. Yeah, and I helped this motherfucker out. I helped. I had. <laughs> I'm I'm the guy who got him on Shadow Band. <laughs> Pluto Coffins, um, YouTube channel. Go to his, subscribe, and his subscribers can subscribe to me. I want to be able to go live soon, yeah. But you can only do it with one one K subscribers, so. What the fuck do you mean? Thank you, Pluto Coffins, for helping my channels on Shadow Band. What the fuck does that mean? So I say YouTube did that. It used to be you can go live, you know. And he got me on Shadow Band, so. <laughs> I got him on Shadow Band. <laughs> My buddy from Charleston, Illinois, so. I'm the reason he's famous, you know? If it wasn't for me getting him on Shadow Band, then there would be no John Campbell. Helping out my channel, so. <laughs> Find him on TikTok and Twitter. <laughs> oh, yeah. And YouTube fucking, um. YouTube fucking gave him a strike and he changed his channel name to YouTube is Abusing Me. <laughs> God damn, I can't even say it with a straight face. He changed it to YouTube is abusing me. <laughs> yeah. I can't get off the ground on Twitter. <laughs> Make one joke about Biden and Madonna's blowing up the White House comment and with a fire emoji about Biden. And they got me censored, you know, so. <laughs> so it's crazy. Double standard, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is this motherfucker so talking about? So there's supposed to be free speech, yeah. You know. <laughs> so yeah, enjoy it. So God bless you guys. An atheist and a Christian working together, you know. The I'm good old be... days, the good old days. The atheist and the Christian working together. Me and John Campbell, the fucking. Uh, like a month ago, he was like, I hate atheists, and he wouldn't even fucking talk to me for a little bit. But then, now he's all like, let's work together and shit. He's kind of bipolar, honestly. Yeah. Well? Rip Pluto Coffin's channel. Pluto Coffin drinks Bud Light, so... <laughs> if you want to subscribe to his channel, you can cancel him. He just admitted... <laughs> he drank him Bud Light to me. Breaking news, Pluto Coffin drinks Bud Light. Go and subscribe from him. <laughs> like, what the fuck is this shit? I drank a Bud Light. Like, who hasn't? And I got proof. <laughs> so. <laughs> he said I got proof. <laughs> there you go. So. The John Campbell Show. Oh, the John Campbell Show. <laughs> I am schizophrenic psycho, but it's not my fault. <laughs> that, what a way to open up that fucking video. <laughs> he said, I am a schizophrenic psycho, but it's not my fault. <laughs> oh my god. They gave me an iPhone 14. <laughs> Pro Fucker's talking about his phone. Max, two hundred and fifty-six gigabytes. <laughs> Think about it. He's always on that. On even on his voicemail, it says, 
iPhone 14 Pro Max 256 gigabytes. <laughs> That's like giving Harley Quinn a crew or a Joker. This world's in chaos now, you know? <laughs> Because he's got a fucking phone. He thinks he's the Joker because he's got an iPhone 14 Pro Max 256 gigabytes. It's like getting a drug dealer drugs, you know. <laughs> it's like giving a drug dealer drugs. <laughs> I don't think you having an iPhone 14 Pro Max 256 gigabytes is like a drug dealer giving, <laughs> giving a drug dealer drugs, honestly. Dude, I am so fucking baked right now, but fuck. This guy this guy makes me crack my shit. I love John Campbell. He's he's one of my favorite things to watch on YouTube. He always fucking makes me laugh. He makes me laugh so hard that my fucking lungs hurt, right? But I am grateful for it, yeah. You know. It's a little psycho, but aren't we all a little psycho? Yeah. You know. For sure. For sure, we all are a little psycho. In our own little way, John, you're absolutely correct. In our weird way. Exactly! Exactly, dude! So, um... Yeah. I mean, we all got things that are we're going through, and... We just gotta deal with them. Can't beat around the bush. Can't blame Trump or... <laughs> well, we can blame whoever the fuck we want to blame for, like, whatever the fuck. That's, like, so unspecific. Like, if something Trump did affects me, I'm going to blame fucking Trump. You know what I'm saying? But if fucking... If, like, I have a bad day, I'm not going to be like, God damn it, Donald Trump! You know, that doesn't make any sense. Like, I'm going to attribute... I'm going to attribute the blame... To where it needs to be attributed, you know? Biden. Or even the devil, you know. That's so, some that's something Christians like to do. They like to blame the devil. They'll be like caught like fiddling a kitty. And then they'll be like, It was the devil that made me do it. No, it wasn't. You're just a sick fuck. Nothing to be bad about having being paranoid and schizophrenic, you know. <laughs> no, there's nothing bad about being a paranoid schizophrenic. <laughs> Use it as a good thing, you know. Yeah, John. Use your paranoid schizophrenia for good. You know, the thing about that is a bad thing. Nothing we can do, just accept it, you know. I have fun with it. So Did you say have fun with it or I fuck with it? Like I sounded like both. Oh. Yeah. I mean you know I have it, so the question is can you stop yourself from listening to me, you know? Or have we all been dumbed down by the media? Now you just can't help yourself, you know. We all love Harley Quinn, you know. And the Joker. That's like saying why Batman arrested him knowing that he's going to commit more crimes, you know. Wasting the Batman's time, you know. <laughs> Your analogies make no fucking sense, bro. Like, literally, like, literally, they're only analogies that a paranoid schizophrenic could come up with. So. It's like they catch and release. I probably shouldn't have this phone, but. Then again, Biden shouldn't be in the White House, so. <laughs> <laughs> I probably shouldn't have this phone, but then again, Biden shouldn't be in the White House. <laughs> this dude is fucking hilarious. Someone needs to put him in a fucking 
There needs to be a movie about this motherfucker. Like, there needs to be the John Campbell movie. <laughs> But that wasn't my call. I'm grateful and thankful for everything I have. You know, my blessings, you know. So, there's that. I mean, I gotta take the good and the bad, you know. Don't. Exactly right. November 8th, 2016. Hashtag comedy. Blame Russia. You got your ass kicked your by ass Trump. Kicked by Trump. November 8th, 2016. I don't. I do not blame. Who the fuck blames Russia? Like, um, like CNN, right? MSNBC. Fuck those guys. That's not me. It's not me. That's not anyone I watch. Like secular talk. You know, the Amazing Atheist, all these motherfuckers, they don't say fucking, uh, we got our ass kicked by fucking Trump in 2016. In fact, all these people don't even like Hillary Clinton. They just think that it probably would have been better than Donald Trump. Massive Except I Joe Biden. I don't think Joe Biden, Joe Biden, I wish it was just fucking, I think Hillary would have been better than Trump, but fucking, I don't even know, because Hillary fucking sucked dick, honestly. I don't know, it's like. A, a, a douchebag in a turd sandwich. I honestly don't... I don't know who would have been better. It's like neck and neck and shit, you know? But fucking... Regardless, I, I think they're both shit. I wish it would have been Bernie Sanders. Honestly. It just always goes back to Bernie Sanders. I like Bernie Sanders. If it would have been Bernie Sanders, we'd be living in a great fucking country right now. Ever, yeah. After eight years of Bernie Sanders. Uh, mega... And they really did rig it against Bernie Sanders, you know? Fucking the uh, 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 the Democrat convention, right? They rigged it against Bernie Sanders, for sure. I don't remember exactly what it was right now because I'm stoned, right? And it was years ago, and I don't follow politics like I used to when I was fucking 16. But I remember that someone rigged it against Bernie Sanders. There's like big old news story about it. Totally sucks now, lol. Thank you. Hashtag funny. Hashtag comedy. You know, I do have a succubus <laughs> problem, demon, in my house, you know, or in the White House, you know. Is it in your house or in the White House? Her name was Monica Lewinsky, you know. She shut Bill Clinton off, you know. That's how it got in my house, you know. <laughs> that makes no sense. I like how he's like so anti like uh Democrat and liberal, right? He's like totally against the liberals. But he'll like say this dumb shit about like shit that happened like almost thirty years ago. Same can't the thing can't keep sucking my dick, you know. <laughs> he said sucking my dick. <laughs> Giving me VJs, you know. Thing can't, the thing can't keep sucking my dick, you know. <laughs> Giving me VJs, you know. <laughs> it's a cool demon, you know. <laughs> it's a cool demon. I agree. That would be a cool demon. That can't, <laughs> can't quit sucking my dick and giving me BJs. That'd be a fucking cool ass demon, John. First one. Oh shit, oh, shit that's me. Omnibus Bill Lowell. Campbell Show by Metatron the Book of Life. What does that Hello. say? I'll turn this ear rape down. Never I don't know what that says. I'm too stoned before. to read that. Yes, you have. Okay, I'm not pulling up the whole shit because. <laughs> It feels like prison sentence just for posting my favorite group. <laughs> that shit got that shit got me before where he's like, I've never been live on YouTube before. <laughs> but he had. He had been live so many fucking times on YouTube before that. 
Like, how the fuck are you gonna say you did not get live on YouTube before, but you were live on YouTube before? Oh my god, what's this one? Facebook jail sucks. It feels like a prison sentence just for posting my favorite group. Punishment for enjoying life. You, know, I'm going going to you can't even hear what he's saying with the music behind it. Facebook jail feels like a prison sentence. Trump train 2024 mess with Pluto coffin comment section Ultra MAGA army 2024 Well my MAGA army blow. He is a tremendous guy If you want something to do Go mess with Trump Pluto coffin Trump train <laughs> Some verbal lesson In the comment section Trump 2024 you know, Make him cry again <laughs> Make him cry Back in November 8th, Make me I mean, if I'm exactly <laughs> who names the video exactly? Schizophrenic <laughs> for believing in Jesus. Then am I the only one that believes in Jesus? I mean, I know other Christians aren't schizophrenic for believing in Jesus, you know. Or else they would be too, you know. I mean, that's kind of obvious. I, th I think he's saying that because he believes in Jesus, that's why people say he's schizophrenic. But it's like, no, you're schizophrenic because you were diagnosed with schizophrenia by Sarah Bush Lincoln in Coles County, Illinois. That's why you're schizophrenic. This was a label to prevent me from preaching my ministry. Yeah, no, it's not a fucking label to prevent you from preaching your ministry. Plenty of schizophrenics have preached their ministry, John. Just look at fucking Abraham, right? Just look at fucking, like, the founders, right? They were fucking schizophrenics. Certain people. So. My tag says, made by Jesus Christ. So. Exactly my point. What does yours say? Made in China? Just an idea. TKO. Atheist not real. Kind of like Antifa. In your Pluto coffin? It's not real. I mean, it's just an idea. What? I mean, he has to verify himself who he is, you know. Because atheists don't have a day. And in all American existence, there's never been an atheist day, you know, created. <laughs> what the fuck is this guy talking about? Pluto Coffins has to verify who he is every day. There's never been an atheist day. This guy is talking nonsense. It is. But there's Easter, you know. So, I mean... There's Muslim holidays, too. There's Jewish holidays, too. There's fucking Buddhist holidays. All because there's a fucking holiday doesn't make something real. There's fucking Groundhog Day. Like, what? Atheists can always celebrate Easter. And that be real, you know. Or Christmas, you know.
I mean, you're so not real. I'm human being. I'm not your experiment. <laughs> I, thank you, science. Who are you in 1958? Human zoos. I'm not your guinea pig, and that's a fact. You know, your weird, sick experiment. You know, and that checks out. You know, I'm a human being. <laughs> he said, "I'm a human being. <laughs> I'm not your experiment. I'm a human being. I'm not your guinea pig." <laughs> I thank you, science. Who are you in 1958? Human zoos. I'm not your guinea pig, and that's a fact, you know. <laughs> your weird. That's just the same video. Experiment, you know. Oops. <laughs> but whosoever. Shall deny me before man. Him will I also deny before my father, which is in heaven. Matthew ten, thirty-two through thirty-nine, King James Version. So that seems to be fulfilled through me. Even the churches, you know. I've never denied Jesus Christ before man. On my social media posts. So. So if you want proof. The atheists they've denied. Jesus you know. In front of man on TV you know. So. Pretty damning you know. What? And Pluto Coffin, you know. So, you know. So, think about that, you know. What? Said, but whosoever shall <laughs> deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. Oh. Okay. So that whole video is him being like, Here's evidence of God. You gotta understand uh, schizophrenic to understand what they're saying. But you got it takes a second. Like you gotta actually, especially if you're real stoned like I am, you you gotta take a second to register what the fuck they're saying. Most of the time you ignore them, right? But this I translate into he wants he wanted to prove to me what evidence of God there was, and the evidence of God is that Bible verse where it says you can't go to heaven unless you believe in Him. So the reason to believe in God is that you can't go to heaven if you don't believe in him. That's not a fucking evidence of shit. That's not evidence of anything, dude. That's just someone saying, that's the carrot and the stick. The carrot is going to heaven. The stick is going to hell. All because there's a heaven and a hell in a book doesn't make them real. And all because it says it, all because something says, and he was quoting the damn book that I don't think is real, right? It's like, I want evidence that the Bible is true. So he quotes the Bible. It makes no fucking sense. <coughs> Whosoever. And then he had to look up whosoever. Visionary, whosoever. Pronoun, <laughs> determiner. Belonging to or associated with, with whichever person who's ever. The choice, whoever is, who's ever it was, is interesting. Pluto. Dictionary, whosoever. <laughs> like, what? That made no sense. The last little bit. None of it made sense, but that last little bit made extra no sense. Lol. The dankest videos around. The coffins videos are so... How can I put it? The dankest videos around.
Yeah, because I'm like stone to the bone. I fumbled around the first fucking 10 minutes. Don't know where the fuck I'm at. I'm so stone type shit. So dang. D-A-N-K, yeah. D-A-N-K, you know. Thank you. Boy. Pluto coffin. You like to grandstand and talk like you know everything about politics and God. But you don't know jack shit. You know, you just play video games. Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> or you know how to do a Silla. Carburetor. You know. Cadillac Converter. I mean, that's the only thing you're good at. You know. But me. I'm one cool dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, dummy. So enjoy. Well, the Xbox, you know. Or whatever you use, you know. <laughs> I guess that was like his wrestling promo against me. Proof I'm human. I'm not a bot. Autism heroes. We need an autism hero. The human verification test. Drinking water. <laughs> I don't know. I can put water in my fucking radiator, dude. You can put water in your radiator. Right? So fucking... Um... Technically, my car is a human because it drinks water. So technically, robots can be humans too, according to John Campbell. I mean, Christianity. That's how I know Christianity is real. Your proof is in the mocking it the most. Demons do the mocking. It is the truth. Religion, that's why it's mocked the most, you know. Out of all the religion, the devil spends his time more mocking Christianity. So, I mean, he don't waste time with the others, you know. So that's how I know Christianity is real. I mean, Christianity is the truth. Religion, that's why it's mocked the most, you know. I don't no, what? So it's mocked the most, so that means it must be true. <laughs> the most people ridicule my religion, so that means it must be the truth, clearly. Like, that makes no fucking sense. Of all the religion, the devil spends his time more mocking Christianity. So, I mean... He don't waste time with the others, you know. So that's how I know Christianity is real. Well, that that's a fucking retarded reason to believe in something, but I shouldn't expect anything less from you, I guess. It wasn't Russia, lol. Her concession speech, rolling on the floor laughing at Pluto Coffins. Because he thinks that I think it was Russia why Hillary lost. But also, I don't fucking like Hillary Clinton, right? I don't like Hillary Clinton. I don't like Donald Trump. But he's always like, this, uh, Hillary Clinton lost because of this. Hillary Clinton lost because of this. It's the Russia thing. He thinks I think it's because of Russia. But I don't think it's because of Russia. Like, really, I, I really don't think it's because of fucking Russia. I think Trump won because people didn't like fucking Hillary Clinton. Right? That's why Trump won. Because people didn't want to vote for Hillary Clinton. That's why Trump won. But he always insisted that um, I thought it was because of Russia. And he kept posting about it and it pissed me off. That's probably why he posted about it so much. Will be a successful president for all Americans. It's, this is it still pisses me off, clearly. Not the outcome we wanted or we worked so hard for. And I'm sorry that we did not win this election for the values we share, will be a successful president for all Americans. 
This is not the outcome we wanted or we worked so hard for, and I'm sorry that we did not win this election for the values we share. I mean... At Pluto Coffins, all I wanted was a Pepsi, Mom. Please. Suicide tendency lyrics. Suicidal tendency, John. It's suicidal tendencies. You kind of sound like them. Oh, don't do with me subliminally. They're fucking with me subliminally. That's what he sounds like. He sounds like a retard, like like some people that I know that perhaps are in this video, like John Campbell. Pluto Coffin's voice <coughs> I did hear, and it made me schizophrenic, you know. <laughs> I made John schizophrenic. Ha, 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 ha. I mean, he is holding up a cross right side up, or is it upside down? I just rotated the picture. Pluto Coffins in Charleston, Illinois. So if you need more proof, I'm saved. You know, I'm a real... <laughs> how does that prove your... How does me holding up my necklace prove that you're a real Christian? That makes no fucking sense. Christian. At Pluto Coffins, you just got crucified, lol. Hashtag salvation. Check this out. Yeah. I mean, technically, Exodus 2218, suffer in which not to, w not to live. And he claimed to be Satanist, you know. I'm not a Satanist, I'm an atheist. A witch hunt is always fun. Pluto Coffin's channel exposed himself. Exodus 2218. Pluto Coffin. He sang like a canary, you know. Like a canary. <laughs> he like claimed I'm in the to mafia. be a witch, exposed himself, you know. Well, Pluto Coffin, you can always repent and come back to God. Re dedicate your life to Christian ministry, you know. But it's your call, you know. If you like to, you know. But you do whatever you think is right, you know. Or wrong, you know. So... Have a good life, you know. When you're ready to repent, you know. This Lord Jesus, the Messiah, my Messiah. I pray for Pluto Coffin's soul <laughs> that you get up in touch with him right there at his spot right now in his dreams. Reveal yourself to him. In Jesus' name, plead the blood of Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's praying for my soul. Jesus Christ is my Messiah. I take it seriously. Pray for at Pluto Coffins. Amen. Amen. Amen, John. Yeah. God can always make him disappear. Acts 5. Final deletion. Atheists aren't real. What do you mean atheists aren't real? Pluto Coffins is... The it is pissing God off, you know, and that's something you don't want to do, you know. You don't want to piss off the big man upstairs, you know. So, do with God, do whatever you need to do to get his attention, you know. In Jesus' name, amen. I wash my case, you know, my hands. Okay, I don't know what any of that meant, but okay. Trolling the shit out of Pluto Coffins. Chemical in the water. Turn the friggin' frogs gay, lol. Hey, Pluto Coffin, you must be crazier than me for listening to me, you know. I am. Honestly, like, after listening to you so long, I honestly feel like I have brain damage from listening to you. Getting high and listening to you, I think, has progressed my mind to schizophrenia. 
And I am sort of retarded from InfoWars, Alex Jones, you know, Joe Rogan podcast. You can always check that out, you know. I come from that line, troll. I'm only trolling you guys, you know. Yep, you're I'm trolling. Here. You're a real good troller. I'm wasting his time from playing video games. He seems drawn fishers of men. I don't know why the fuck he thinks... Because he thinks that all I do is play video games. Because back then I streamed Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, and San Andreas. But, like, that's those were the first video games I've really played in the, since Red Dead Redemption 2 came out, right? Because I beat Red Dead Redemption 2, and then before that, the last video game I really played was Grand Theft Auto 5, right? And the game before that was Skyrim. I was a big video game player, like, 13 or I'd say like 15 prior, right? But then I kind of fell out of video games. Then I got into weed and doing drugs and shit, right? And making YouTube videos, right? But fucking, um, and I kind of quit playing video games. And then I fucking started doing the YouTube thing again. And my buddy Caleb has this live streaming capability. So I stream three through uh, San Andreas, right? And I want to get four going soon, but that's not working out too well. So I, I fucking teased a little coming soon for Grand Theft Auto 4, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen anytime soon. But I want to get that done someday. I want to play all the Grand Theft Autos and then all the games I played as when I was a kid, and I want to put them on the channel. That's my goal. Um, but fucking, I don't play video games all the time. In fact, all I do is work. All I do is work and then smoke with my friends and fucking have fun with my friends and make YouTube videos or like really I've been chilling on the YouTube videos lately. Really I've just been working a lot of overtime lately and it fucking sucks. So the fact that he's always bitching at me for fucking playing video games, it's like I don't fucking play video games, bro. Not really. If you don't believe me that God's real, even with the evidence I've given you then do you And then the title has nothing to do with fucking what he's talking about here. He's talking about <laughs> the Bible. I mean if you don't Believe me that God's real, even with the evidence I've given you. Then do your own research, you know. But you told me to find the evidence, Pluto Coffin, so, I mean... And you still don't want to believe, so you... That's on you, you know. You choose to do whatever you want, you know. My lost soul friend, you know. But whenever you want to take God serious, come talk to me, you know. Hey. <laughs> that was a weird video. My best Scott St uh, Steiner in, uh, tribute promo, promo. Hashtag TNA Wrestling. There's freaks like me <laughs> who exercise. I wonder if there's a video where he like rips a fat fart right in the middle of the video. Daily. In my home. In my home. <laughs> and try to get in shape. While Pluto Coffin is nothing but a lazy couch potato who plays Grand Theft Auto <laughs> all day. Does nothing. Is nothing. Nothing but a lazy bum. <laughs> he called me a lazy bum. He called me a lazy bum. <laughs> what the fuck? At Pluto Coffins, do you love everyone in the world like I do? Show me, friend. I mean, I think I got my Christian card back, you know. This is what he texted me. Oh, no, that's what he texted William. The I'm finally saved. It proves that everyone. Why do you fucking say at Pluto everyone. Coffins then? Has to really love everyone, you know. I don't know what the fuck that had to do with me, but okay. Amen. Hashtag Jesus one is undisputed champion of the world. <laughs> can you um show the love? Look, you can see the you can see cum on his face, on his lips. Everyone. The greatest God ever. Jesus Christ. Yeah. 
So there's other gods, because if he's the greatest god, that implies that there's other gods. Breaking news about Pluto Coffin's channels. It's been revealed by my sources, lol. Breaking news, top secret information. <laughs> top secret information. <laughs> the, um... Pluto Coffins was sexually abused by the Catholic Church. No, I wasn't. I wasn't a fucking Catholic growing up. I was a fucking Baptist. Get your fucking shit straight. Breaking news. I've been told by an informant, you know. <laughs> an informant. He was a victim of abuse by the church, you know. For clarification, I most certainly was not abused by anyone in the church. I was a Baptist. He didn't even get... He didn't even know what fucking religion I was. He needs forgiveness, you know. Breaking news. Bre breaking news. Breaking news. Pluto Coffin has evidence to arrest Hillary Clinton. What the fuck, bro? Why are you saying that shit about me? I'm going to get fucking killed, bro. Why are you trying to get me killed, John? Breaking news, Pluto Coffins has evidence leading to the arrest of Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Motherfucker's trying to get me whacked. He has the, all the evidence, you know. <laughs> I have all the evidence. It's been leaked out to him in Charleston, Illinois by Putin. <laughs> Fuck you, bro. Quit telling him where I live. Yeah. <laughs> He keeps doxing me. <laughs> Look at that laugh. He's a mafia don. He's fucking getting me whacked. Hey. November 8th, 2016. So much whiteness, lol. Hashtag, or just CNN, not hashtag. Pluto Coffins, can you um please help me? Help you do what, John? I think I need to move on to my light, you know. Cause I'm a ghost who died a long time ago in Charleston at courtyard. Cause I'm so white. Cause I'm so whiteness, you know. Cause I'm a white skin, you know. Can you do that, dumbass? Do you have the power to do that? You know. What the fuck does that even mean? No. Can you pull that off? Dude, if you want to cancel this kid, what? he's in Charleston and he's a Satanist. He keeps doxing me. Just don't hire him, Pluto Coffins. He hates Tucker Carlson. Folks in Charleston, Illinois to wake up. Fucking, uh, don't hire Pluto Coffins. Okay. You know. Just don't hire him, you know. Or fire him. Make him unemployed, you know. Make him unemployed. What the fuck's wrong with this guy? Make him unemployed. <laughs> this guy's a loser. I mean... I mean, he's not even a Trump supporter. <laughs> I mean, he's not even a Trump supporter. I guess he likes to be suicide by Hillary Clinton, you know. There's always that. I like being suicide by Hillary Clinton. You know. Can you see? Love Bible thumping devil. Worshippers into the pit you go. Pluto Coffin chose to go to after me. So I Bible thumped him back to earth. Bottomless into. That video sucked. Is he is bullying me and harassing me? Check his account out. Ploto coffins punish him, not me. He got a fucking thing on TikTok. First of all, I didn't even make TikTok videos back then. 
And second of all, I've posted more on my TikTok since then, but, um, you know, I really don't like TikTok, so I don't know if I'm going to keep posting on there or not, but I might, I might keep going with the TikTok shit. So speaking of which, follow my TikTok, but then that also means I've got to link my TikTok to every single fucking video I've made, and that's almost a thousand videos now. So fuck that too. But he gets a fucking, I don't, I don't even do TikTok, so why the fuck are you telling YouTube to fuck with me, bro? Okay. Not cool. I don't tell YouTube to fuck with you. He is. Well, technically, he is trying to ruin my reputation. What well, friend does that, you know? And then I get punished, you know? Because I didn't bully him. So, I mean, if you don't punish, punish the bully or not the victim, you know? And everyone that's called the eternal sin. Unpardonable, calling calling satanic. I'm Holy Ghost. Phil tongue talking, doing nothing. I can that made that title makes absolutely no sense. That's only that's a title only a paranoid schizophrenic could come up with. I don't know how he comes up with these fucking titles. He needs to just number them like John Campbell Show One, John Campbell Show Two, John Campbell, and then maybe put the gibberish like after the john campbell show you know the john campbell show then the eternal sin unpardonable calling satanic like what the fuck is that title me satanic still and everyone that's called me satanic still I have not seen anyone call you satanic, but I guarantee you after this video, a bunch of people are going to call you satanic just because you said, quit calling me satanic, but I've never seen anyone call you satanic. Like, clearly you're a Christian. Like, I mean, you're a little weird, but clearly you're a Christian. And I got the Holy Ghost speaking tongues. And includes Pluto Coffin. That's his final now, and he's done it on social media. I didn't call you satanic at all. And we have other witnesses. That's the eternal damn it, you know, eternal sin. Oh, I did commit the eternal sin, though. So there's that. But why the church is kept it from me? Well, they're false prophets, you know. Even if a good prophet, good church, would be warning us what the eternal sin is. So, I mean, if you preach that and said that, you might as well retire. <laughs> I might as well retire. Because I committed the eternal sin. I just put a curse on you, Pluto Coffin. I used to be works both ways in Wicca. You like Wicca? I thought Wicca was against Christianity. What the fuck is this? Are you going to say anything? I don't know if he's going to say anything. No, it's just Wicca words. Okay, this is a weird video. Thank you, at Sky Newest Australia, at Pluto Coffins, proving me right again. Hey, Pluto Coffin, are you stupid? <laughs> yes. Or just retarded? I'm both, bro, but so are you. You should watch um, Sky News of Australia if you want to know how embarrassing your party is to America, to the world, you know. Yeah, I mean, especially if they compare Biden to the toddler wandering off in the mall, so... I don't like Biden. I don't like Biden. I don't like Clinton. What part of that don't you get? I like Bernie Sanders. So if you want to criticize me for liking Bernie Sanders, go ahead. But Biden and, and Hillary, I don't like. Yeah. No one's going to vote for your party in 2024. It's going to be a sweet sweep for Trump, you know. I'd rather watch them the Sky News, you know. I'll show ya.
I think Trump will win. If it's Biden versus Trump 2024, I think Trump will win. I would put money on it. Heart magic man thinks he is, lol. Dweeb blesses heart. Slow kids, lol. He's calling me slow. He definitely has bugs under his skin. What the fuck? That's because Caleb made a video of John Campbell and it said, you have bugs crawling under your skin. <laughs> and he, sent, he kept sending it to John Campbell. And John, John Campbell got all freaked out, so he made this meme. I guess his thing back then was making these memes and not talking in the video. Your nickname, Pluto Coffin. You earned it, lol. Magic moron, man. Lol. Dedicated to magic moron, Pluto Coffin. I'm a magic man. Yeah. He kept calling me a magic man because I used to do fucking magic tricks. I don't know how he knows that, but I used to do magic tricks in high school. But I don't know how the fuck he knows that shit. But also fucking, apparently, like, I learned from someone I work with the other day that fucking people in high school would still call me Magic Luke. So that's fucking weird. That that's my fucking legacy I left back in high school because I'm a completely different person now. Hey, Pl Pluto Coffin is investigating the Clinton Foundation, lol. Rip Coffin, hashtag autism. Okay. Pluto Coffin, you can always investigate Hillary Clinton. No. You know, he, if He's you... trying to get me killed. He wants me to investigate Hillary Clinton. He wants me dead. Want to see Satan early. That is an option for you. Not a very good option. That's a good idea, you know. No, that's not a good. That's not a good idea. <laughs> he wanted me to quit making videos about him. I guess at least in making videos about God, at least he said that God did make it, made it all. I agree with him. How to spot a demon? Just watch him on TV. Genesis. So God makes the world. Fucking makes all the plants, makes all the trees, makes all the food, makes all the animals. Makes Adam and Eve, right? Fucking says, you can't eat from the paraphrasing of Genesis. So, God makes the world. Fucking makes Why all the it, Dude, he's paraphrasing my goddamn video. He's fucking taking one part I said. I'm not, I did not say God make anything. I was just quoting Genesis, dude. That does not mean that I fucking think that it's real. I love AEW Darby Allen. Hashtag AEW Dynamite, hashtag AEW Rampage, hashtag haha ha Pluto Coffin. Got coffin dropped, lol. I just coffin dropped Pluto Coffin. Heaven, but I came from I came from death, He's got these videos where he just listens to music the whole time. Does he talk? I don't like that shit because I feel like I'm going to get copyrighted or some shit. Hey, Pluto. Nothing anyone can do about my videos, even Pluto Coffins. Coffin, drop AEW Dynamite. Section 230 or three years deal with AT&T. Don't you understand, Pluto Coffins? What? Pluto Coffin, there ain't nothing you can do. One part of... I've signed a three-year deal with AT&T. <laughs> Don't you understand, you know... And that's a heavenly deal, you know. <laughs> and my insurance pays for some of it, you know. United Healthcare. There's the best deal ever, you know. What part of I have a three year contract with AT&T don't you understand, motherfucker? What the fuck does that mean, bro? <laughs> so I can make any video I want, you know. I can make any video I want. I got a three-year contract with AT&T. What the fuck are you on, bro? Schizophrenia is a hell of a drug. Breaking news, Pluto Coffin. We the people USA. We the people USA. Pluto Coffin just Bud Light himself. His channel just Bud Lighted himself. 
breaking news, you know. His channel just Bud Lighted himself, you know. You know. What's he gonna do whenever he can't drink Bud Light, you know? Then I'll drink fucking Blue Moon. Because actually, I like Miller Light and Blue Moon. Those are my two favorite beers now. Blue Moon's always been my favorite beer, but Miller Light's my new shit. But fucking, if Bud Light's available, I'm gonna drink Bud Light. Like, if that's all there is, I'm gonna drink Bud Light. I'm gonna drink whatever's available. Sorry. I'm, I don't fucking subscribe to the weird notion that whatever you drink makes you a fucking faggot. That's how their bus pulled it, you know. You have to drink Mexican beer, you know. Or playing Grand Theft Auto or stealing GTA, killing Pluto Coffin Channel. Best example, hashtag Jesus Christ. Not the bright, low energy, easy sniper kills like Call of Duty. He exposes himself. Ultra MAGA Christians in 2024. What the fuck? What the fuck song is this shit? It's hard to say. That's a weird video. Pluto Coffin's going to get the House of Pain, lol. Yes, Pluto Coffin. I hear voices in my head when you watch the crappy show on YouTube. So he, he gets voices in his head from my crappy show on YouTube. I'm probably gonna get copyright from you doing that shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. This is badass. I have to play this video. I'm dancing with him. Boom, boom. Pluto Coffins got tuckered out, tired, bedtime, sleep well. GT's, haha. And then it's just a picture of Tucker Carlson. Riveting content, John. My belief's not some couch potato burnout. Ooh, he's calling me a burnout. In Charleston, Illinois, drugged up freak opinion keeps doxing me. I mean, the only opinion... That matters to me is what God thinks. <laughs> the only opinion that matters to me is what my imaginary friend thinks. Of the Bible, Moses, the God of Moses, and G. And the only opinion that matters is an inanimate book written 2,000 years ago by a bunch of fucking hairy gents squatting in a tent. You know, that's who matter. The one who's going to be judging me at the when it all gets done. Final battle, Judgment Day. That's the only opinion that really matters, you know. And that should be everyone's, you know, belief, but I can't make everyone that's a burnout. Plays Grand Theft Auto and what? gets high and worships the devil when he can be reading the word. Breaking. He calls me a burnout who worships the devil and gets high. That's awesome. When all those influencers on social media visit the right White House. Breaking news. Pluto Coffin is a pump it for Joe. I don't like Joe Biden. Groomed by Joe Biden. What? News. Pluto Coffins claimed he um, went to the White House and was groomed <laughs> by Joe Biden himself to be the mouthpiece for him. I've been to Washington, D.C. when I was 13 years old. For my, I think it was for my 13th birthday. Saw John F. Kennedy's grave. Saw the Lincoln Memorial. Saw fucking the Jefferson Memorial. You know, I went to a bunch of places. and went to the Smithsonian. Um, 
Went to the Hard Rock Cafe. But never went to the White House. And Joe Biden was vice president at the time. And he never groomed me. Because that's his puppet, you know. Not sure, he's a, just a puppet for Joe Biden. The biggest idiot in the world is Pluto Coffins. Psalms 14.1 He's an idiot, fool. Technically, the biggest idiot on the internet, YouTube, is Pluto Coffins. What? <laughs> Because um, Psalms 14.1, the fool says there is no God. So the Bible calls him a fool. So that makes him an idiot on the internet, the biggest one. <laughs> and all the atheists, yeah. It's because I called him the biggest idiot for saying the N-word like a hundred times on his, like that N-word hard R on, on his channel like a hundred times. Which fucking, I, uh, I have no problem with people saying, which I'm white, by the way. But that doesn't matter. I'm, I'm 100% fine with people saying the N-word if they have context for the reason for saying it. He was just saying it like, you know, just saying it. But honestly, that's not as bad as calling someone the N-word hard R. But he did it like 100 times, so I called him the biggest idiot on the internet. And look at him, I mean, he looks like the biggest idiot on the internet. So that's why he made this shit, because he was real mad at me. But honestly, I think I need to fucking rest my brain. Because I'm like 20 IQ points dumber after listening to John Campbell the whole for however long this was. An hour and 11 minutes. So yeah, I'm done listening to his ass. This has been fucking Pluto Coffins versus John Campbell, the Bull Session Podcast, episode 35. See you guys in the next one. I need to chill out. (laughs)